Hi, I'm Kevin. And I'm Sarah. And we're the Global Geezers. We are in Porto, Portugal. Yay, finally. Last time we came through here on the cruise ship, we were both sick with COVID, so we didn't get off the ship to see the city. But now we're coming back through, we're gonna take a look at it, and we're doing a walking tour. Yay, so we're waiting for the walking tour right now. And we're nearby in a little coffee shop. And of course we had to get True Pasta del Nanas made in Portugal. Cause they're originated from Portugal. And we love them. Yeah, we so love we're them. excited to try them here. And yes. the guy asked me if I wanted cinnamon on it. And he said it was a local thing. So I was like, okay, you gotta do at least one of them with cinnamon. So yeah. But after we eat these, we're gonna get on the tour. So let's go. We just got our cafes and pastel de nadas at this little place right across. It's O Melor Sabor, right across from the tower. And I must say, it's the best pastel de nada I've ever had. And that's including from Paris. The, the crust was like this perfectly yummy, crisp, fresh, and the, the custard was still like warm. Oh my gosh, it was, what do you think? Young <laughs> for proper pasta donada, Portugal. Okay. Yeah, that's where you gotta go. Yep, they do it right. I see and I see guy. our uh, umbrella yep. guy. The park, the Natural History Museum, and then that looks like. Pope John Paul or something like, because I'm so on my popes. Okay, the statue is the Antonio Ferreria Gomez, Bishop of Porto from 1906 to 1989. All right, they have these tuk-tuks that you can take tuk-tuk tours if you want to take a tuk-tuk tour. There you go. Kind of cool, they're all over the city. So here's the tuk-tuks look like. And this is the meeting point. Pretty cool. We're gonna start in modern Portugal and work our way back in time to the beginning of Portugal. That's what the tour guy said, so here we go. She looks so happy. Oh wow. Look at that church ahead. That's supposed to be modern. A lot of tour groups. 17th century church on the left, 18th century church on the right. That's two churches in one. Look at the tile work on the side. University of Porto. The first university of Porto. First university of Porto. The building was built in the early 19th century, but it wasn't made into a university until the early 20th century. Okay, that's considered the modern area, and now we're going into the medieval area, crossing it in different stones, and this is the Jewish quarter. Thirteenth century. We're walking down through the old Jewish quarter right now. Apparently, the Jews were. It sounds like segregated to a certain part of Portugal back in. Um, 13 something. So I guess we're going to go to a spot. He's going to tell us a little bit more about that.
<laughs> All right. Looks like we got a view from here. How about that view? Oh, no kidding. Just over here. Wow, look at that view. Look at those old churches right there. And you got the river. Wow. I grew up. So the only challenge with some of these tours is they go to all of these really, really popular stops and places. And it's just tons of crowds and tourists. And, you know, yeah, we're tourists too, but we like to find little highways and byways and it's a little more challenging to do that. So even though we appreciate learning more about the city and the history and seeing certain spots that are important to the locals, um, that's one of, at least what I feel, is kind of the only bummer because we have the usually the time to explore places kind of on our own when there's not crowds of people around so we get a little spoiled so that's kind of really the only downer when it comes to going on tours for us anyway um, and I know different people like different things and that's fine this is just us that's just the way we are the the things that we look forward to and we enjoy so different strokes different folks We're on a break and we decided to walk into this Taylor's Port shop and she gave us a wonderful quick lesson about port and we're getting like a little taster set so we're really excited about that. Um, we don't really know much about port but we're getting a little set of, of these these four and it comes with chocolate pairings can't be awful they just take the traffic and put it under the city into tunnels pretty smart this whole city is built on hills a lot of hills the guy on the horse. That's Pedro. Pedro the Fourth. He was the ruler of Brazil when it first became independent. Yeah. It's a long story. Wow, look at that church up there. Pretty. Don't know if we're gonna get up there though. Our tour is getting long and we gotta get back to the ship soon. According to Islamic rule, you cannot have living figures depicted on your tiles. They could become idols, okay? You mainly see them inside Islamic palaces because to wills Islam, true beauty is inside. All right, we're going into the train station. <laughs> Wow, it's just a few tiles. Look at the train station. There's some space on this side. Can you hear me okay? Yep, okay, good. Nice. Yep. Good. So, first, the 
to the front of the main cathedral of Porto. This was the fortification and castle. Um, it was the bishop's quarters, but it was also where they defended. So that's what it originated at. But this is now the front. Wow. You kind of got to watch your step here. So I want to turn around and see it again. You guys are getting a look at it before me. And that's cool too. Guess I better follow the tour guide. That's, like I mentioned before, that's kind of the, I hate to say negative, negative thing about tours is you need to make sure you stay with the group. So it makes it really hard to get photos and video for a vlog. So, yeah, that's what it is. Things exist. Oh, we would rather have them within the public health system. So, for instance, we had a big drug crisis in the 1990s, and the way to solve it was to make it legal to say, I'm a consumer, can you please help me? All right, back to the ship. We're using their subway tram system again. It's a three, three euro 80 for two people to go from Porto to the ship and, and back. So 380 times two. A lot of interesting art in here. information booths. That was Porto. <laughs> we didn't have a lot of time and the tour we did, it was great for history, but not yeah. a lot for sightseeing. Does yeah, we, yeah we, didn't, we didn't have as much time to see as many things. We'd go to a place and he'd give us a full history lesson. And so we had maybe six, seven stops. Yeah. And he would talk about history and, you know, which was awesome, but with having so little time, we really wanted to see more of the city. And for us, that was, I don't know, kind of a disappointment. Yeah, but it's a free walking tour, but it's customary to tip. And being the big tippers we were, we gave them 1 million euros. Because we're just like that. We just, we're just, no. 
<laughs> I won't tell you how much we tip. Tipping is discretionary, so that's yep. up to you. Now we get to get back on the ship and we head to Lisbon. And yep. you get to see Lisbon next week. Isn't this building cool behind us? Yeah, that's the cruise terminal in yeah. Porto. It's or gorgeous. Lixos, so. But until then, bye. bye. Uh oh, I think we're back in London. But now we get to back. Now we get to.